In the video before this one, we took a look at the capacitance of a varactor diode, how it changes when a voltage is applied in the reverse bias. As the voltage increases, the capacitance decreases. Well, I put this varactor into an oscillator circuit and if you look on the left, you'll see that I've got five reactors all parallel together. And the reason for that is the frequency that I'm using. Uh, it's relatively low. If I was using a higher frequency, I uh, might only need one varactor to vary the frequency. Uh, in the amount that we want. Now the reason for the low frequency is the limitation of my oscilloscope. Here's the circuit that I came up with. You can see the five reactors that are all paralleled together. They're in series with two 390 picofarad capacitors. Now all that is in parallel with that 68 picofarad capacitor. The 390 picofarad capacitors, they isolate the varactors and the voltage that's applied across the varactors. It isolates that voltage from getting into the oscillator circuit. I have hooked up the oscilloscope to the secondary of the oscillator coil and when I increase the voltage applied to the five parallel varactors we'll see that the frequency will increase which means that the capacitance of the varactors are decreasing. Now I'm going to slowly increase the voltage across those varactors. And we can see on the scope that the frequency is increasing. And of course when I lower the voltage the frequency decreases. And we'll do this again. Increasing the voltage. And the frequency increases. and then the frequency is now decreasing. Thanks for watching.